Uh, Mickey, really disappointed in that. Uh, you had your chances, but after that, really didn't get going too much. Yeah, like you said, it's very disappointing that we we created enough to score goals. I think probably maybe what, seven or eight chances, or half chances that we normally would convert. Maybe you could say that. And then um, I don't remember them having too many chances. That's a disappointing thing. I think that's our um, not our luck, but that's what's happened. Right? Their team are taking their chances against us. Sometimes, obviously, the first goal we can't do much about it because it's come off a deflection that no one can do anything about that. But the second one's obviously disappointing the way in the manner that they, they scored that one we, we can look back at that and see where we could where we come wrong. And um, we've got to make sure that we don't do that one again. And look, apart from that they Nick's had a couple of saves to make and, and that's it. So apart from the goals that they scored they didn't really create much. We've certainly created more but unfortunately we didn't take our chances today. The manager has said that he's looking to bring players in in January, three ideally. Um, which is great, provided they're not in your position, isn't it? Yeah, of course. It's, look, even if they're in my position, it's either going to go one way or the other, isn't it? It's going to make me perform better, which I need to do. Obviously, we can see the goals as a defender. That's our main job is to stop stop people scoring goals. So if you, if you bring players in as a defender centre half, then look, I've got to work up the game. And um, not that I'm not going to do that anyway, because I'm not one of those players that thinks I'm comfortable playing. Obviously, I've been out the last week. I've come back in, and um, personally, I feel. We were, we were unfortunate to concede the goals that we did and um, look, we've got a, another day we go and score three. Like, you can look at the games we've come back in this year already and um, we create more chances today than we did in those games. You're still very much in contention but January is always a big month, isn't it? With the, the players that yeah, might be able to come in. Yeah. Where do you think the squad is at the moment? We've got a very good squad. Look, obviously the gaffer said that he wants to bring three in. Um, and he's only going to bring players that are going to improve our team. So um, if, he, if he's able to do that, then, uh, then happy days. And we, hopefully they will come in. Look, we're, we've always been a welcoming group. You ask anyone that comes into this team, we always, they always say the same thing. So we're welcoming with open arms. If they're going to come and improve us, then that's what we want them to do. How are you finding the testing regime? Matty Dolan struck down yesterday. Yeah, look, it's, it's what's going on at the moment, isn't it? So I obviously, I tested positive just before Christmas. Um, thankfully, I had no symptoms or anything like that, which is... In a way, I was lucky that I didn't, but in a way, I was more frustrated that I couldn't. I felt as normal as I felt beforehand. So, and then obviously, I, in a way, I was lucky that two games got pulled off. I missed one of the games, so it's just one I hate missing games. Everyone knows that. And um, hopefully, touch wood, I can um, not miss any more now. I must ask you, Cody Bigger Richardson said yesterday he hasn't been jabbed. There's no intention of it. How do the rest of the players feel about that? No, look, it's, it's everybody's decision, isn't it? I'm. They've got that no one can force anything on people. If, if that's what he believes in, then that's what he believes in. Other people feel feel the same. But look, it's, I I got jabbed and I caught it. So it, they say it helps. Obviously, maybe if I don't, if I didn't if I wasn't jabbed, then I may have been hit a little bit more with it. So look, I'm not going to force anything on it. It's, it's their personal opinion, and, and that's his one. And we have to respect that and respect everyone else's wishes as well. Nicky, all the best. Thanks. Thank you very much. You having to isolate in the spare room, or were you? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm, well, look, I, I um, obviously called to care, and um, I suppose the the only benefit of me catching it when I did was that we broke Christmas off, so I got to spend time that I wouldn't normally do with, with the family, um, and it didn't get me bored. I think if it wasn't Christmas, I would have got very very bored. And um, but look, I felt fine. I was lucky enough to. There's a lot of people that haven't felt fine when they caught it, and um, I was on the lucky ones. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, is this one of the experience you, you sort of guys will help with the, with the young lads? Lonely, yeah. Like, that holding nerve, almost. You've had three results with them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're, we're, the, since the gaffers come over, we, we've um, we played some good football. And sometimes that works. And we all, we're always going to do that. We're always going to play because you, you watch the games that we've played. We've, cut teams open, we cut them open today, we just couldn't take that final chance, so um, we have to keep, keep working on it, we're doing it at the training ground, and the gaff will have his ideas from today's game, we've got to put that back into practice, and we go again for um, Harrogate on Saturday. It's just tough old, tough old it's league, league, it's league, league, league two football, then. isn't it, it's league two football, the boys, the, the, the lone boys that have come in have done exceptionally well, yeah. to come in, uh, apart from Finn, I think it's Coops and Jake's first lone spell. And they come in and change our team completely. And uh, we, uh, we're lucky to have them. We look at Coop. He's um, he played obviously more than, than Jake, and he shouldn't, shouldn't be in this league, really. He, we're lucky. Hopefully, Swansea don't call him back because 
is what happened to us last year. You know, boards come down and play with us and, and they end up going back and either signing new contracts with their parent club, which is the idea. They're young lads and need to come and play football and we're lucky enough that we've got them to the, at the moment. Hopefully they can stay for the rest of the season. It's obviously hard without fans, is it? Yeah, it's back complete. Back. Look, we did it all last year and no one liked it. Look, hopefully it's not going to be for very long. Um, I'm sure being in DNS open distance and hopefully they may change their mind at some point in the near future because they say if you're outside and you've got the jab then people are going to start thinking well, why am I getting a jab if I'm not allowed to stay in my life and come to a football game you've got other, especially over the border they're doing exactly that so hopefully we, uh, as long as it's safe to do so they'll be, they'll be able to